Hey everyone, my name is Tanya and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your gel prints on canvas. So I'm going to be showing you three different ways and I'll talk about a fourth way as well on how you can do that. The first way is gel printing on tissue paper and then transferring that tissue paper onto your canvas. Now the problem with uh, printing directly on a canvas that has a frame is that it doesn't have a sturdy enough backside so that you can press it directly onto your gel plate to make good contact. So to start off, I'm gel printing on a canvas and I'm doing a technique that I call color blocking, where you apply paint to different sections of your gel plate and then pull a print. And because the uh, tissue paper that I'm printing on is translucent, I know that I can uh, position my uh, print in the right place so that I can get a complete print. And I'm using a variety of uh, textures. I'm using a DIY wooden alphabet uh, texture plate. I used a stencil as well. And I'm using some alphabet and number stencils as well as some bubble wrap to get my textures onto my tissue paper. And once it's done, it doesn't take very long to dry at all. It, you can transfer your tissue paper onto your canvas. So I'm using gel medium here. I'm using matte gel medium. And the beauty of using, uh, using gel matte medium is, is that once it dries, the tissue paper almost disappears into the background, uh, especially if it's white. And it's really, really good to get your uh, gel prints onto surfaces that might be slightly textured or be difficult to print on like a canvas. And once it's dry, you can trim off or tear off any excess tissue paper from the sides using a scissor. Or if you wet it slightly then leave it, then it becomes easy to tear. And if there's any gaps that you would like to fill in, you can go back with the same paints that you used around the edges. I'm using Deco Arts paints in this video. Now for the second uh, technique is I am gel printing and then transferring it with gel medium. So I am printing on a uh, lightweight cardstock, which is uh, one of my favorite uh, papers to use. It's uh, smooth and it takes uh, paint really well. And I'm going to be using the perfect, the Jelly Arts Perfect placement tool. And I have some alphabet uh, stencil masks here. And how the placement tool works is that you place it along the edge of your gel plate. You uh, align the little um, notches to where however big your uh, gel plate is. It has several markings uh, for whichever plate size you use. This is the A4 uh, gel plate that I'm using. And uh, what I'm doing is I am aligning the paper with the corner of the placement tool so that I print in the same position over and over again. So I have my markers uh, aligned so that because I'm working on an eight by 10 uh, jelly arts plate. And uh, this ensures that I will print in the same spot over and over again to get my complete print. So this is another way that you can do your color blocking technique. So if you're someone who's not uh, that confident about aligning your prints uh, every time and want to create very highly layered uh, gel prints, then the perfect placement tool is for you. And it comes in both uh, American paper size as well as A4 size. And to transfer this, now this is something that I discovered a couple of days ago, and it's not a new technique, uh, but this is the first time I've seen someone do it with gel prints. So uh, my gel print, which was dry, I took, I cut it down to size, and then I applied some gel medium onto my canvas, and I am making sure that my print laid face down onto my canvas, and I flipped it over and I'm making sure to burnish the back of it really, really well. And I'm using my palette knife to get under the frames so that I know that the print is making really good contact with the canvas. 
Now, if you've done uh, transfers, then this is a technique that's familiar to you. Uh, if you've never done transfers before, I would advise on being patient and let the canvas dry overnight and be <laughs> now if, if you're not very patient like I am, then that might be the hardest part of this process. But I assure you, just make sure that the uh, print is stuck really well onto your uh, canvas and let it dry completely. And then what I'm doing here, as you can see on the screen, is I am lightly misting it. You can use a damp sponge as well to wet the paper and you can gently lift off uh, like uh, larger pieces as the top layer. And then for the rest, you can use gentle circular motions with your fingers to rub away the rest of that paper. And magically, <laughs> you see that the paint remains on the canvas. Now, why do this instead of tissue paper? It has a slightly different texture to it. And I love how it feels. I love how it looks. It gives a different effect to tissue paper. And if you're not comfortable doing gel transfers, then you can try uh, transferring your designs using tissue paper as well. Um, and at this point, uh, you can keep rubbing away. Just be really, really gentle with it and uh, make sure that if you if you want, you can add some more mist onto it just to wet it so that uh, you can rub away the excess paper. And if there's any paint that lifted a bit too much, then you can go back with the paint that you used in the gel print to correct it. It's a fun technique and I hope that you try it out. I sure had fun making this video. And the third way is that you can uh, print on canvas board. Now, canvas board is uh, basically canvas with a sturdy back. It doesn't have a frame and you can uh, mount it inside a frame afterwards. And I am basically uh, taking lifting paint uh, in sections and applying it directly onto the gel plate and uh, in the beginning you did see me I lifted the gel plate directly onto the canvas to kind of stamp the canvas as well and one of my favorite uh, ways to get texture on a gel plate is also using the mini tools and here you can see I've just uh, created some uh, abstract circular lines with the mini tools uh, to get some more white space onto my canvas. And here's a finished look at that uh, canvas. Those were the three ways. Here I'm showing you one that I made earlier uh, where I didn't let it dry enough, so it lifted far too much paint. This one here, I've got four different uh, prints on it, and I really actually loved how it turned out. And you can do this with... Uh, with tissue paper as well. I will link a, a, a video by Birgit Koopsen and you can watch that as well where she talks about how to do uh, gel printing on tissue paper and she'll show you many different techniques and many different applications as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video and lastly I would like to add that if you are uh, afraid of using your gel prints and are not really sure that how you want to use them or you think that oh it's too pretty to use then you can scan them that's one of my favorite ways to reuse my prints you can scan them and you can upload them onto a print on demand service where you can get them printed on canvas you can have postcards made or all sorts of gifts i hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you're going to try this out Thanks. Bye.